Jesus Christ. All right. Check. Now, well, hopefully, this thing is auto focusing as we go. All right, everybody. Welcome here to an undisclosed location on the uh, Fraser River. Do a little uh, tour here. I'll let it all this later. Welcome to our camp. Figure I'd take this opportunity to do a little bit of filming today. Sorry for the jerky video. My stabilizer's not uh, finished being built yet. So, yeah. We've got ourselves a quaint little camp here. We're being a little bombarded with snow at the moment, so please bear with us. We're in the process of setting a lot of things up. Lots of toys, lots of things going on here. We got we got some solar panels. We've got hoses. We've got pump saws. We've got wood, mini sluice. We've got a high banker over here. We've got ourselves an ATV, we've got hoses, we've got all kinds of stuff on that side of things. Over there we got another little, got a smaller sluice going on there. This thing is not autofocusing worth a shit, so I'm going to have to kill the autofocus on this. It's alright. Yeah, she's slippery. Another pump. We got the Jennies going there. We got ourselves some batteries. We've got ourselves some more pumps. That's, uh, that's Tom's trailer, that's Tom's storage tent there. We got ourselves our other generator here. That one there puts out quite a bit of wattage. You know, we got our reserve gas, we got our other containers and bit. I showed you guys my camp uh, in that introductory video, which is uh, over there in the corner. See that there? But yeah, we're getting a fair bit of snow. I got uh, my own set of gear up there and what have you. We have ourselves a little bit of an issue with our road going on here. Road closed. Um, now that we have a little bit of uh, daylight, I can kind of give you a little grand tour here. I have no idea how a shopping cart made its way down here, but whatever. Yeah, go for a little bit more of a tour. You can see where we're going here. If you look down there, through the trees and on yonder, that back there is the Fraser River. And it's quite a ways down. I don't know if the uh, video is going to do it justice, but that's about 250, 300 feet down to the river. We'll go for a little walk. Do, do, do. So this is my new home for at least uh, two, three months at least. And then uh, 
That'll take us into uh, February, March. Probably gonna stay here till June, but I imagine I'll take a little break at some point. We are uh, just gonna go down this trail here. Hopefully I don't slip and fall on my ass. Trying to do this less jerky and shaky as possible. I might stabilize the video later. Good thing I'm shooting in uh, in 1080. I can knock it down to 720 and take the shake right out. She's cold. She's at about negative five degrees Celsius right now. Um, I think that's around uh, 27 Fahrenheit for you Americans. I'm not so sure exactly. Here's where we have a problem. Our, uh, apparently there's this little area kind of fell apart. Uh, we, had, uh, we had a little bit of runoff and it pulled everything down and can't really get by here with the ATV. I guess a guy could, but it's uh, a little dodgy at best. Du, du, du. Good thing I have image stabilization. Yeah, she's slippery. So then, come down here. So I can't really give away our exact location for obvious reasons, but uh, we are on the Fraser River, not too far from Boston Bar, which is located near a place called Hell's Gate, go figure. Yes. Now this is where things get a little bit white. The exposure's pretty high, well actually, that's called snow. We're getting a bit of a small white out. Right now the flakes are small, but they're probably gonna get larger because the temperature's starting to drop, which is a good thing. I'll explain why. Ugh. Right now the ground is frozen. It's too hard to work with, even right here. We got some workable dirt. See, some of this stuff is all workable. This is actually all pretty good stuff. But getting over here, we're quite frozen, which is where we want to be. This is where my friend old man Tom was working just before everything froze up. Just before the ATV broke down. Well, no, not the ATV, the winch on the ATV broke down. We just fixed that today. A lot of the gear he had was breaking down and I came up and together we got everything working again and fixed everything. This is the uh, this is the hole that he dug and uh, pulled at least two or three grams of gold right out of this one little spot here. Now, moving on along down here. That first shot was way up there. If you can see that, it's pretty snowy, so it's kind of I don't know how the video is going to turn out. But guys, take this in. Welcome to the Fraser River. Well, people would have you think that there's a gold rush in California. The real gold rush is happening in Barkerville where the, uh, where the cottonwood comes into the Fraser and dispenses all kinds of gold all the way through here. You see that? Those are nature's natural ripples right there. And all in this bedrock up there, there should be tons of gold, which is where we're gonna be next week. Now, it's really hard to see, but you guys tell me that's not gorgeous, minus the cold bits. It's really kind of hard to see some of that other stuff beyond. Let's see if we can get in there. Yeah, really hard to see up in there, but. Yep, 
when it's not snowing I'll uh, do another video down here and well I'm gonna shoot lots of video down here because uh, quite frankly this is where we're going to be working this is where we're going to be setting up and uh, this is where we're going to be working it so we basically got all the gear that we need now we're just waiting for mother nature to say all right go uh, the snow is a good sign actually it means that the temperature has dropped yesterday it was about negative 10 negative 7 to negative 10 at nighttime it was actually way too cold for snow to fall i don't know if you know your meteorology but there's a point where it just doesn't fall anymore but uh yeah we're in god's country right now guys and uh this is my new home yeah Yep, 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 you. I gotta get back to the campsite and get this camera gear back in the bag before it gets friggin' all wet and full of snow and gonna ruin my gear. But I thought I'd give you a daytime view of where we are and what I'm doing. And I'll uh, I'll keep you all updated, I promise. Ah, there we go. Camera shut off for a second. But yeah. So here's a here's our way back up this road, which is more like a trail at the bottom here. Whew. It's fairly steep. The date today is the 27th of December tomorrow's 28th so we're going to be going into town Monday the closest place is about 25 kilometers away that's called Hope and uh, sorry it's Boston Bar closest grocery store is about 80 kilometers away I don't know do your metric conversion yourselves there, Americans. That's 80 kilometers. And then the closest city after that is about 120 kilometers away. So, if something were to happen, we are literally too far away to get any help. So, we just have to make sure we play her safe, do our due diligence, make sure we find some gold so we can buy all the necessary gear as we go i want to thank you all for, uh, for watching i hope everyone had a safe and happy holiday and uh oh christ i'm out of breath <sighs> kids don't smoke <sighs> Yeah, yeah, she's getting cold, but it's not too bad. If you're Canadian, you're used to it. Look at that. It's a long way down. I'll take you guys for a longer tour when the snow's gone. It's hard to know where you're putting your foot down there. Some great spots down there by the rocks though.
And I'll snap some pictures and put up a little montage of everything. So stand by. This video will get uploaded as soon as I get to near a Wi-Fi signal. So, all right, everybody. Enjoy life in your nice warm homes. Once uh, all the snow melts, we can start to organize and get everything uh, together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Anyway guys, peace out and uh, take care of yourselves and damn it, take care of each other, especially while I'm gone. Peace. Desperate as that sounds, yeah, yeah. Take these walls and rip them, rip them down.